Hello, and thanks once again for continuing with us for more Explore Tulsa. Trish, could you imagine sitting a hundred stories up, your legs wrapped around a steel beam while you were eating lunch? Not even for a second. That's the way they used to do it back in the 1930s when they were building the Empire State Building. Scary down there. <laughs> to honor and remember the workers and conditions they endured, the Smithsonian has a traveling exhibit called The Way We Worked, now available to see at the Museum Broken Arrow. We all grew up listening to stories from our grandparents about the way they worked. When you walk in this room, you will be reminded of those memories because these pictures from the United States Archives are fabulous. We're so excited. Our new exhibit is entitled The Way We Worked, and it's from the Smithsonian. The Museum on Main Street program teams up with the Smithsonian, Oklahoma Humanities, and the United States Archives. About two years ago, an email came through on our system and was talking all about this exhibit about how American labor has changed over the last 100 years. Well, here in Broken Arrow, we've gone through great changes from poultry and cotton and coal to being number three in manufacturing in the state of Oklahoma. So we thought this exhibit is perfect for our audience in our region. So we applied and we were one of five locations in Oklahoma accepted. So, and it's here and we're truly excited. Well, one of the things is when you walk in this room, you will see how far we've come in our daily work. For instance, the safety standards that there are in construction projects. It'll make you think 100 years ago when you put breakfast on your table, it may have taken maybe five people to put breakfast there. Now, if a simple plate of eggs and bacon could take thousands of people to make that reach your plate from the farm to the manufacturers to the truck drivers to the grocers. So our lives have truly changed. Well, our mission here at the museum is always keeping history alive. And when you go to our second floor, it highlights all the richness of Broken Arrow history. And so this exhibit lets us be excited about our work history. And when you go to our second floor, you'll see some of that how we had coal mines here in Broken Arrow, how we were cotton farmers, how it was important for us to have a train depot here because that's how we got our goods and services out. So this exhibit ties into our history. One of the neat things is while you're down here in this exhibit, you can actually take out your cell phone, dial a number and listen from a curator at the United States Archives tell you what you're looking at. Even if you went to Washington DC, you might not get that. So it's truly unique. Yes, our goal is to continue changing this exhibit hall out. I'm excited to say in the month of August, we're gonna have an exhibit called Pix on 66. It's all kinds of wonderful photographs from Route 66, and everybody has a story of Route 66. So we're continuing to change, and as always, we'll have our annual Christmas tree exhibit soon. One of the neat things is to see parents with their children or grandparents with their grandchildren and them pointing to pictures and say, oh, that's what we did in our family or, oh wow, I remember that. And it's really neat to kind of listen in on their conversations and hear the stories and everybody that leaves, they leave having a conversation and that, that's what's truly important because we cannot keep our history alive unless we're communicating with each other. Every day is a new day at the museum. One of the great things about my job is meeting people and hearing their stories, hearing their family history, or hearing, I saw this on the second floor and my grandma had that in her house, and, and just hearing that. And it truly makes you think, if we all just shared a little bit of our history every day, I think we'd be better able to communicate with each other and understand our world better. <laughs>